Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today we're going to be going over how to install these heavy duty rear shocks on your Yamaha Drive 2. So these heavy duty rear shocks were designed to go on the 2017 and newer Yamaha Drive 2 Quiet Tech models that have the independent rear suspension. Now you may need to go to a heavier shock like this when you install a rear seat kit or a rear cargo box. Now in addition to having a stiffer spring, these shocks are also just a little bit longer than your factory shock. Now the purpose of that is to help you be able to clear a 20 inch tall tire while hauling the heavier loads. Now on these drive twos, you can clear a 20 inch tall tire without doing any kind of a lift kit. But if you want to install a rear seat and be able to haul around four adults, you can run into some tire rubbing issues with those rear tires. But going to this heavy duty rear shock with the extended length is going to help resolve those tire clearance issues. Now we do have these heavy duty rear shocks along with our recommended tire and wheel combinations available on our website at powerequipmentman.com. Now to install these heavy duty rear shocks, if your cart already has the rear seat kit installed on it, you're first gonna need to remove that rear seat kit. Now depending on what brand or model of rear seat kit you have, these are typically fairly easy to remove by just pulling out the mounting bolts and then removing this whole rear seat as one assembly. Once the seat's out of the way, then you can remove your rear access panel. Next, you can jack up the back of the cart and remove your rear tires. Now using a 12 millimeter wrench, we need to remove the nut that holds the bracket for our brake line in place. Once you've removed the nut, just slide the bolt out until it hits the brake line. This will allow you to pull the bracket back far enough to be able to remove the shock. Now using a 17 millimeter wrench and socket, you can loosen the pinch bolt for our bottom shock mount. Then use a 14 millimeter wrench and socket to remove our top shock mounting bolt. To make installing our new shocks easier, I like to install the top shock mounting bolt first and then slide the bottom shock mount up into place. You can use a pry bar to gently pry open the bottom shock mount to make it easier to slide onto our new shock. Now you can go ahead and tighten down the top and bottom shock mounts. Then reinstall the bolt and nut on your brake line bracket. Then repeat this process on the other side. Now as it sits on this cart, we've gained right at about an extra inch worth of clearance above those rear tires. So I think that's really going to be just the right amount when you put four passengers on this cart. You shouldn't have any rubbing issues. But at the same time, it's not too much clearance where the tire looks goofy inside of the wheel well or the cart isn't really sitting at a funny angle. It still looks nice and level and we're going to have plenty of clearance when we need it. Now another concern that we had with going with a longer shock was whether it was going to put too much of an angle on our drive shaft and potentially mess with the camber of the rear tire. But after installing these and looking at everything over, everything still looks perfect. We don't have too much angle on those drive shafts. The camber looks fine, so I don't think we're going to run into any tire wearing issues. So one drawback to going to these heavy duty rear shocks is that the cart is going to ride rougher. You are installing a stiffer rear shock on your cart. But to be able to get that extra payload capacity, that's just the price you got to pay. Now, if you guys want to check out these rear shocks, we've got them available on our website at powerequipmentman.com. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you got some good value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.